Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be sharing with you some really unique and innovative makeup items and I think that sentence doesn't really come by so often these days because I do think we have been blessed with the makeup industry giving us a lot of options, a lot of dupes, a lot of choices, that sometimes it is a little oversaturated and some products just don't stand out from the crowd but I have gathered some products that are in my collection that I do think stand out from the crowd so I'm gonna share that with you today I will say that this is just to my product knowledge I'm sure some other brands have done something similar but I don't think many brands have done these products that I'm about to show you so if you are a little curious then please continue watching okay so to start off the list we're gonna focus on eyes first and the first product I want to share with you comes from Unleashia this is their glitter stick and I have mine in the shade number two flutter and this might not seem seem like such a unique or innovative product right because it's just a glitter eyeliner but I did want to add it in because I think in the western market this is very different but from the k-beauty side which Unleashia is a Korean beauty brand um, this is probably very very common but I still wanted to mention it anyway because I have this thing where I just feel sometimes a little left out because on the western side of the beauty world everyone hates glitters but then on the Asian side everyone loves glitters and they can't live without it and you know, I feel like my makeup style does lean more towards the western side, but I love glitters. I've been really getting into them, and I think this product here fits right in the middle. So if you're someone that doesn't like pressed glitters because they can be harmful, and you don't want to use them, you don't find them safe, but you love that sparkly, glittery effect that glitters give you, I think this is a really good in-between because this is just a glitter eyeliner pencil so the glitters are very very small and micro it kind of reminds me of the Urban Decay Moon Dust eyeshadow the way it kind of like just glimmers and glides on you could say that that eyeshadow is into this stick right here so you're able to get that intense glitteriness without actually using press glitters so I think that's a really good in-between start and you don't typically see something like this in the western market if you were to see a non matte eyeliner typically it would be metallic it wouldn't be glittery like this one so I think for that I would say it is pretty innovative and pretty unique um, and I have been enjoying this I have been using this literally every single time I do my makeup so I did film this eye look um, it's for another palette and I did use an eyeshadow to highlight my inner corners but I did go in with the glitter stick just to enhance that inner corner add some more dimension with the glitters in there and that is what's on my inner corners right now and I absolutely love it I would wear this on its own as well just for like a sheer glittery effect you could wear this all over the lids it's such an amazing product and I think it's quite unique to me personally and the next product is from Stila this is their stay all day dual ended waterproof liquid eyeliner and this was actually the product that inspired this video idea because when I first saw this and when I got this I was like this is so simple but it's so unique it's so innovative I've never seen this from any other brand essentially what it is it's literally just a dual ended liquid eyeliner on one end you get the original side which is just the normal felt tip eyeliner pen and I do prefer a brush tip so if Stila could come out with like a brush tip version of this I'd be so happy because I think eyeliner definitely is personal preference you might prefer a felt tip you might prefer a brush tip I prefer a brush tip and this is a felt pen but still I think the formula is pretty good it's smooth it's pigmented it's a little shiny but the way I do my eyeliner I always smoke it out anyway so that doesn't really bother me but you get the normal side here so you can create the base of your wing with this and you have the micro tip side so the micro tip side is just a little wee little baby tip and you can get really precise with this so if you struggle making your wing sharp you can finesse it with this little micro tip if you are someone that's very artsy and do a lot of like more detailed work or detailed eyeliner for graphic wing this would be really nice as well because of that skinny tip so I really like the idea of this I personally have not seen this done from any other brand but I'm sure it has been done but I just don't know of any I personally have not seen it and it's such a simple idea because we have seen dual ended products before it's nothing new but I've never seen a liquid dual ended product and I think it's just 
so genius and I think it works amazing. So next up, I do want to just plug in my own little product here. This is my collab palette from Odin's Eye and I do want to plug the entire Legendary Diversa collection. So we have my palette, Red Dragon, and then Tina's palette, The Hummingbird, and then Annette's palette, which is The Giant Wolves. And I just wanted to talk about this collection a little bit more, give you some updates, but I do think this collection as a whole was very different because this was Odin's Odin's Eyes first create a collab and even if I wasn't a part of this collab I do find it just to be very different because Odin's Eye could have collab with people that are a little bit bigger that had more followers subscribers whatnot even though they are an indie brand they definitely could have done that but I think for them to choose three different people with different backgrounds different culture different skin tone to really make it an inclusive and diverse collection I think that is special on its own and the shades that are in each palette I just feel like is so special and so different so unique and it really just expresses each creator's um, taste I think for that it makes it very different innovative and unique I mean I could be just super super biased but I do think that because there's not many brands that will make something just so inclusive and I think with our collection we were able to do that and I just wanted to talk about it a little bit more because there is very 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 low stock on my palette and I saw Tina's recent video she says she also has very low stock on her one as well and this palette did sell out which I'm so happy about because her palette seriously so unique and so special I mean if you got this palette then you know what I'm talking about but her palette did sell out so the hummingbird and red dragon is still available but there is extremely extremely low stock on it so I would say grab it now while you can because once it's gone it's not going to restock it's gonna be sold out this was a limited edition collaboration so if you're able to pick it up or even ask for it for Christmas since we are in December now there is not that many left so I just wanted to update you guys and I kind of just wanted to like vent a little bit because my Instagram is still disabled it's been about a month and a half and I genuinely think if I was able to promote actively on my Instagram about the palette about the Black Friday deals as well I think we could have sold out Red Dragon as well because I haven't been able to really talk about Red Dragon so often because in my YouTube videos I'm usually focused on something else like there's a topic to my videos is only so often where I can really bring this in and the saddest thing about it is like everybody has been getting their palettes but they can't tag me so I can't see every single look or who's received it and stuff like that so that has been the saddest part because that was the part I was looking forward to the most and now that you know it's about to sell out I feel like I couldn't really take it all in because my Instagram getting disabled so I'm sad about that but it's like what can I do I'm still just like waiting for a reply but um yeah that's the situation but still I'm very grateful for this collab but I did just want to let you guys know on both palettes hummingbird and red dragon there is very very low stock on it so Grab it while you can and thank you so much for your support. I truly, truly appreciate it. But I just wanted to plug in our collection because I really do think it's different. So moving along, the next couple of products are all blushes because I just adore blushes. Clearly that I have so many here to share with you. So the first one I actually mentioned in my last video, which was my monthly roundup. So this is the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics Luminous Rouge loose powder blush and you might be thinking judy is this really so unique but to me i find that loose powder blushes are not so common i personally haven't seen that many i think bare minerals might have one but other than that i haven't really seen so many loose blushes usually blushes come in the pressed powder form or a cream or a stick but it doesn't really come in a loose powder form and this is my first loose powder blush and i absolutely love it i mean i talked about it in my previous video it was in the favorite section and i just absolutely love this blush the way it makes your cheeks look a little goes a long way and the formula on this is like so amazing it really does remind me of the m cosmetics heaven's glow blushes but just a little bit more pigmented and that formulation on its own is pretty special as well like i really haven't seen so many formulas like that and for that this blush is amazing I think it's unique I think it's different and the way it makes my cheeks look is just chef's kiss I said it in my previous video but I'll say it again when I wore this blush the only time I got comments asking what is your blush was when I was wearing this blush 
So I mean, it looks great in person, but obviously it probably captures really well on camera too. So this is just beautiful. The way it makes your cheeks look, it's like glowy, but not too much. It's perfect. It's literal perfection of a blush. I absolutely love this. As for the next blush is what I actually am currently wearing on my cheeks right now. This one is from Winky Lux. It's their Cheeky Rose Blush and I have mine in the shade Dodgy. You might have seen this around because I feel like it did gain some attention recently, but it is literally the most beautiful blush I've ever seen. It is in a rose shape and it actually doesn't lose that shape. So no matter how much you use it, you will still see that rose. And I think for this product, it definitely is the packaging that really captures the attention. But the formulation as well is really good too. So not only you're getting such a beautiful, stunning product, the formula of the blush is really, really pretty. Like I'm wearing it on my cheeks right now. I applied this on top of powder and it doesn't look patchy. It applies on so smooth. You're able to get a light wash or you're able to build it up. Like this pink might be a little bit intimidating, but as you can see on me, I just applied a little and it looks very natural, very flushed. And it's just a really unique kind of product. Like the packaging wise, like this concept, I have not seen this done by anybody else. Winky Lux as a brand has a lot of like innovative, unique things. They had that like jelly lipstick with the flower inside, which I don't think they are the original creators but they also have that and they have this blush and this blush is so amazing it's so pretty like formula wise packaging wise everything about it like how could you not like it's so so good and then on to the next blush we have this one is from the brand euphoria it's their color changing blush oil and a blush oil is also quite unique as well. I feel like I haven't really seen a blush in that format, but this blush also changes according to your body's chemistry. So it's one of those like pH level color changing things. Um, we have seen that in lipsticks, but now Euphoria came out with a blush oil that will adjust to your body's chemistry which is pretty cool right i found it pretty cool some people might find it gimmicky um but the color that it changes to is like a bright fuchsia pink on me i would assume that it's probably going to change like that to most people but this blush oil is actually really nice it's my first time using a blush oil um i don't know if that's a common thing or what but i personally have not seen it and it's a really nice formula it's pretty sheer and natural so it's really great for like those no makeup makeup days and next up some more cheek products these are from Kaja it's their cheeky stamp which is the blush and their beachy stamp which is their bronzer so these products I actually don't like but I do find them to be very unique and innovative so essentially what it is you take the cap off which is the applicator with the heart shape blush here and then you open the second layer and then you have the product in here and it's a cushion blush and this one is a cushion bronzer so again in the k beauty side of the world probably cushion blush and bronzer is probably a little bit more common but definitely to the western side this is very very unique and not common at all so i find that the formulation on these can be a little bit patchy i've used it without the stamp and then just used a brush or a sponge with the cushion itself but i find them to be a bit patchy but the overall idea i really like um, and i think kaja also has a lot of unique and quirky kind of products that you don't really see so often they have really cool packaging but i still wanted to mention it because i think their products are again unique innovative they're different i have not seen anything like this before and we have seen morphe um kind of I wouldn't say copied, but I would say copy, but let's just say inspired by their little trio eyeshadows, the little bento eyeshadows that you might have seen. All right, next up, we have some beautiful outer space highlighters, and these recently blew up on TikTok because on Michaela, anything she reviews on her TikTok will blow up, but I'm so happy because these are from Kaleidos Makeup, and I first tried Kaleidos, I think it was a last year in 2020 and I fell in love with the brand everything they came out I just loved everything they have in their line is so good the quality is so amazing and these highlighters are a huge huge standout I don't think I have every shade but I do have 
a lot of the shades they sent me all of these last year and i just absolutely love these these are just so different and so unique like you guys if michaela didn't sell you on them let me try and sell you on them if i haven't already because i have talked about these highlighters in the past um, i talked very highly of them so i'm actually wearing one right now i'm wearing comet catcher which has more of like a fuchsia pink sheen to it i'm not sure if you can see that from where you are and if with my lighting but these just have such an amazing like reflection to it and their shade range is so stunning as well so this one moon cruiser the blue one i think this one is like the really really popular one moon cruiser oh my goodness these are like out of space type of highlighters like you won't find highlighters like these anywhere because they are just so unique and so different they have a really good shade range so no matter if you like color or if you like something very subtle they'll have something for you the subtle one my favorite one ray rider this is in my top drawer i haven't used this in a while but i really need to bring it back this one is just a really nice gold champagne so this is like for the everyday gal it's one of my favorites like i've talked about ray rider so often it's such a beautiful shade and the way that these like reflect on your skin it's so beautiful but the most amazing thing about these i'm not sure how it's going to be on different skin tones but on me even with this blue one moon cruiser usually with like a blue highlighter if i look straight there will be a little gray cast but with this there isn't like these just look really really amazing on the skin you'll notice it from far away i have so many here i will swatch all of them for you because i love these like they're just so extra dimensional like look at this one this one's a full-on duochrome this one is the uh prophecy but now onto the final product this one might be a little random like judy is that really so innovative i also talked about this in my monthly roundup which was my previous video and it is from fourth ray beauty it is their coconut lip scrub and they do have it in different scents but i got coconut because i love the scent of coconut and this is a lip scrub that comes in a lip balm form and i personally find this very innovative because i don't like my lip scrub coming in the little jar because they can just be so messy you're using your fingers but when it's in a packaging like this in a form of like a lip balm where you just apply it you can mush your lips together and then wipe it off it's mess free and it's just so simple but it's what i needed so for the packaging, I find it to be very innovative and unique because I haven't seen a lip scrub in this format. I'm sure another brand has done something like this before, but I personally have not seen it. And 43 Beauty is cruelty free. They are affordable as well. You can use my code Judy at checkout to save 10% off as well if you would like. That code is affiliated by the way. And it's such a simple idea that why is this not the standard? Like why is this not the normal way we apply our lip scrub? You know what I mean? But that you guys was everything that I want to share with you today. These were some items in my collection that are very different, unique, and innovative. I don't know how many times I use these three words in today's video, but I know I used it a lot. But I would love to know which item out of today's video was the most interesting to you, which one caught your eye. I would love to know down below in the comments. Also, if you guys did enjoy this video and you enjoyed watching, if you could, give the video a thumbs up for me. I'd appreciate it so much. But with that being said, that does conclude today's video, guys. So thank you so much for watching as always. I love you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.